badge. It's actually just a physics book. And that's just great. Thank you. Present badge. I don't have a badge. So here's a quick walkthrough of the hardware we've got set up. Um, this is a Nerf Vulcan automated rifle. Uh, basically what we have set up here, as you can see these two wires coming out of the handle here, we have a MOSFET acting as a trigger mechanism inside of the handle. We have a little circuit in there that uh, triggers the gun. You can also just as easily trigger it manually if the uh, handle is not on right now though. Um, then we also have the battery pack which we chose to make external so there's a little bit less weight on the rotation motor. The motor is mounted between two napkin holders that may or may not have been stolen from a dining hall. And you can see the motor under there. That just rotates what was originally part of the, um, the tripod mount for the gun. Which is now permanently ruined, yes. Um, and then in terms of the actual electronics, what we have is we have a National Instruments uh, analog digital device that hooks up to the computer via USB. So we're sending that digital output signals. Um, one of those, this wire right here, uh, goes to the trigger mechanism, the MOSFET and the handle, and then the other two digital outputs go to um, go to controlling the motor, left or right, for rotation. And then also in the basic stamp, what we have is we have these two wires here um, that run to these hooks, um, and then those hooks make contact with the hook on the back of the handle uh, that basically completes the circuit and uh, prevents the gun from turning past certain points, so it kills the motors when it when it reaches that extension point so it doesn't start spinning around endlessly if something goes wrong. Um, and then that's basically it, and then Jason's going to talk about software. Okay. Um, so basically the GUI is kind of rudimentary because I don't have a whole lot of time to work on this as projects actually do today. Um, basically just has mode selection which allows you to really transfer between different modes. You can uh, change the color map for an image, which in MATLAB is relatively simple. You got sort of blue, which are some heat map, even though it's not HSV, which just looks ugly. That, which looks a little bit like Star Wars, and grayscale. Um, you can also toggle coordinates, which won't show right now because the camera's not on, but you can kind of toggle this on and off. You can pause the whole system. The red indicates where uh, the current center of movement would be, and the pink indicates where the gun thinks it should be. Um, so that doesn't constantly follow the red, or else we get very jittery motor signals. Sort of the rotation. But this is the system we have works pretty well.